Most head-mounted virtual reality displays have a horizontal field of view of around 100 degrees, which pales in comparison to the human visual field of more than 180 degrees. This makes the VR experience more akin to looking through binoculars, limiting the sense of presence in the virtual scene. We present the concept of sparse peripheral displays, which augment the field of view of a head-mounted display with a low-resolution, low-weight, inexpensively produced array of LEDs around the central high-resolution display. Our virtual reality prototype, called Sparse Light VR, extends the standard Oculus Rift DK2 prototype with a set of 70 peripheral LEDs, creating a 170-degree horizontal field of view. We also implemented an augmented reality version, called Sparse Light AR, which is built upon a custom, modified Galaxy Gear VR prototype. Sparse Light AR is an untethered device which extends the horizontal field of view with 112 peripheral LEDs, creating a 190-degree horizontal field of view. Sparse peripheral displays provide additional contextual information, increasing the situational awareness of the person wearing the display. To render the color of each LED, we designed a series of matching light probes that can be deployed in any Unity game engine scene. Using Sparse Light VR, we conducted two user experiments to evaluate the effectiveness of sparse peripheral displays. In the first experiment, we compared the participants' performance in a simple search task on three conditions. Using a narrow 50 degree of field of view, similar to most augmented reality devices. Using a standard 100 degree of field of view Oculus Rift DK2 virtual reality headset. And using a 170 degree Sparse Light VR hybrid display. In our visual search task, the Sparse Light VR display significantly outperformed the lower field of view displays. Our second experiment investigated the effects of different visualization schemes in the periphery, and their effect on simulator sickness. The task required the users to follow an orb in the scene using a controller. We compared an unmodified Oculus Rift DK2 setup with our Sparse Light VR setup, configured to render an extended field of view. We also compared a novel visualization called Peripheral Countervection Motion, which creates a motion effect in the periphery opposing any motion that does not directly originate from the person's head motion. 11 out of 14 participants indicated that the Peripheral Countervection Motion visualization reduces the effects of simulator sickness in our task, and both sparse light VR conditions were preferred to the standalone Rift display. Please see the paper for more details. In summary, our sparse peripheral displays are an inexpensive, lightweight solution to extend the field of view of a head-mounted display and can increase presence and reduce the effects of simulator sickness.